Welcome back! Today I'm going to bring you, according to myself, the tastiest part of the circle of fifths. Well, here I'm writing down all of the notes in an octave. And there it was done. Oh, that's great! Now we got the whole octave. And I will write down the circle of fifths, starting with a line at 12 o'clock, and one at 3 o'clock, and one at 6, and one at 9, and then filling out the rest in between. 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 10, 11. Then I will put the first note in the octave at 12 o'clock, the C. And now we must find the fifth to the C. This by counting seven half tone steps to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A G. And I'll put it on one o'clock. And now we will find the fifth to G. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A D. And we put that on two o'clock. And let's continue finding the fifth to the D. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, an A. And I put that on three o'clock. And continue like that and you will have this circle. Now I'm going to talk about the six friends. Three of them are always happy and only plays major. The other three are always sad and only plays minor. The happy major friends are always within their red circle, placed three hours before the sad ones. The sad minor friends are always within their blue circle. These always sounds good. I'm going to play a random example. You can rotate the circles clockwise or counterclockwise, or jump wherever you want to create your hit song. You can also take power chords by playing any of the chords within the circles with your left paw, and play melodies with single notes with your right paw, that you are building up with the notes as from the middle one of the happy friends to the last sad friend. These notes can also be taken in whatever order you want, at the same time as you're playing the chords. And this applies to all of the positions in the circle of fifths, as from the middle happy friend and all the way to the last sad one. Now let's try this random at the keyboard to hear how it sounds. Now you can create your own circle to build great sounding music as long as you're using these six major and minor friends. Also, try to move around the six friends while playing, just for fun. The circle of fifths can be used in many ways, but I have decided to only show you my favorite. And with that said, thank you and good luck. Please subscribe. Bye!